Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now check it out. I am completely and utterly tired, but I'm bringing you guys this video because I just want to talk to you guys about NBA 2K20. If you have the game, then you know the same things that I'm about to say to you. If you don't have the game, this video is definitely geared towards you because this is kind of like a decision if you want to get the game or if you want to wait until a patch or if you want to wait till a holiday and just things that you will generally have to know about NBA 2K20. Now, this is not a build video. So if you're looking for the best build, blah, 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 this is not the video, even though I believe that my build is one of the best builds in the game. But let's go ahead and get into it. What I want to talk to you guys about. Whew. Now, just to let you guys know, I have pressed X. I have loaded into the my career. It is at 30%. It is still going. It has not moved from 30% since I've been talking. This is an issue that you will incur if you get NBA 2K20 right now. The day one patch or the first patch of the game has not started yet, it has not been uploaded. But finally, I'm into my career and let's talk about a couple things. So the neighborhood is really, really dope. Can't lie to you guys. I like playing part, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, the loading screens are something else. The ending game screens are something else. Not only that, I catch constant errors when I'm on a streak, when I'm changing an outfit, when I'm upgrading an attribute, when I'm upgrading a badge. It is beyond me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my uh, actual VIP stats and stuff like that. Um, so right now at the playground, I'm 14 and three at the wreck. I'm two and one. Um, just to let you guys know, I've been playing 2K forever. So if you're new to my channel, just know my record and stuff like that. Don't worry about all that. I'll get a whole bunch of wins and all that stuff in the next couple days. What I've been focusing on is the jump shot creator. Now, this is the thing that is still in the game, but 2K did not let us know when you got it, nor did they lock it and show it to us. It was like a hidden objective inside the game. So let me go ahead and go to play next game. So basically I'm in November, mid November. Basically people have been saying that you get uh, right around here, right around these four games. They're supposed to be like a scheduled team practice in between these days. And if you notice, this is the 8th and the 9th, which means there won't be a practice for me on the 8th and the 9th. But there may be a team practice for me on the 10th or the 12th because I have team games on the 11th and the 13th. So what they're saying is once you go to this scheduled team game, there will be a, a Hall of Famer or some somebody of pure importance that will be there and will allow you to get jump shot creator within that team practice but just a, a a rule of thumb all of these games are not simmed if you're playing nba 2k20 your goal is to play my career up until you get the jump shot creator play my career every single game make sure you go to the practice facility after every single game and practice with your team so you can get your badges now I'm going to tell you guys this. This is just me personally. I know other people out there on the internet will say, man, you tripping. I am going to be playing a clean, a clean NBA 2K20 run, which means no exploits, no glitches, no, no extra application save data, all this nonsense. I don't want to get banned this year. Last year in 2K19, I seen the wave of things that 2K were doing to us as consumers for the exploits that they put out and couldn't fix in their game they were banning people left and right i heard about people getting banned for simply being at the stage and actually winning games so i can just imagine what 2k would do to people if they think just think that they're exploiting or glitching the game so me personally i'm going to be playing a clean game now the way that i get my badges i play every single game and then I go to the practice and I focus on uh, different things. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys what I mean. Um, yes, my player is mad skinny. He looks mad short. I know you guys are used to seeing my 6'9 lock from 2K19, but 
don't even worry about that um as you guys can see it says the playmaking shot creator is my build and i'm an 88 overall um i'm gonna try to go ahead and get to 90 before to, the day is actually over and i'll probably be in december with my uh actual build now when i come into the practice facility it's gonna be a little different for me i get to choose what i want to do now the reason for this is i've been awarded to select the skills that i want to work on but when you first come in as a person that's just starting the game out the coach coach rivers because i play for the clippers will always call everybody over and then we'll do whatever uh set things that you want to do now for me i get to choose what i want so if i want to work on my finishing badges i have different things that i can do if i want to work on my shooting i got different things that i can do if i want to work on my playmaking which playmaking is definitely needed this year unpluckable is a really good badge that you guys are want to get want to, are gonna want to get uh defensive rebounding and stuff like that if i want to work on it i can now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um a couple things after i leave here let me see first off let's go to progression real quick so um real quick i'm real co close to a defensive and rebounding badge which is probably going to be something that's going to help me with stamina and everything like that playmaking and shooting badges are really cool but uh let's go ahead and go to my badges real quick because they take the least amount to load and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so right now i only have one finishing badge a lot of people out there like i said are, are doing things to get other badges I'm not going to be doing that. I have Relentless Finisher, which is going to help me with layups. I know this no matter if I'm a 60 overall or if I'm an 85 overall or even an 88 overall. When I go to that room and them bigs is out, they crazy. So I'm probably going to be doing Relentless Finisher, uh, Giant Slayer, Fancy Footwork, uh, Acrobat, and probably, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to be doing either Teardropper or Contact Finisher. All right. So um let's go to my shooting badges i know you guys are probably like bro you could have a hall of fame badge by now i'm not playing this game like that i'm getting badges that's actually going to chain together to help me so if you're a person that wants like say for instance you want hall of fame range extender right yeah you can have hall of fame range extender but you need quick draw because quick draw is the best shooting badge in the game you need dead eye because people are always closing out i've been playing bigs at the park since the game came out you know what i mean as soon as i got to the park i was on threes i was at the shooting guard and i was playing the, a 611 in, um, interior finish finisher or a seven foot paint beast because people are running two centers so i need that eye catch and shoot when i'm playing twos or even if i'm playing threes and i'm out on a fast break i stop and pop every time or i might do a little moving shot real quick or i might just be wrapping around or i'm in the corner Catch and shoot is helping me. So these bronze badges are really huge over a gold range extender and maybe a silver dead eye or a, a Hall of Fame quick draw. Like I need you need badges you chain. If your badges don't chain, you're not doing anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like that. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter complaining, saying how bad the game is and saying how terrible shooting is. You gotta get these badges. If you don't get these badges, we're like I, I feel like people want to play exactly how they played in 2k19 in august and you know i'm saying in on september 1st when they had 2k19 they loaded it up when 2k20 came out they wanted to play exactly how they played on 2k19 but that's not the that's not how it goes you need your badges man now playmaking badges um the reason why i don't have any dribbling badges is because dribbling is so bad right now and if even if you have badges I feel like a patch needs to come out you could have unpluckable on silver you could have ankle breaker on bronze maybe or if you have a lot more badges you can have quick first step i can tell you guys right now i've tried quick first step it's pretty good but even on gold which i had it on gold you can oh, i'm sorry no i had it on silver you can use it but honestly it's not like once you get past that player if you're not shooting a moving shot as a play sharp or a play shot what are you going to the room for you're going to get body you're going to get obliterated by a big so i took a quick first step and i've been playing wreck a little bit we played three games of wreck diamond works pretty good and floor general works pretty good because it helps everybody uh on offense now i don't have a defensive upgrade yet that's coming soon but check this out 
remember I told you guys about the loading screens and a couple things that need to be patched going into progression if you guys if I had any available points and I put those up and I purchased them it would put me in a hanging screen and either my purchase would fail or it would be in a three minute loading screen telling me that my transaction was successful so that's something that needs to be patched for sure as far as endorsements go i have almost 100,000 fans um in my next game after i'm done with that i'll probably have 100,000, and then i'll have another contract with beats now um this current contract if you guys notice i get 2100 for an event appearance i get 20 for alley-oop assist 10 for pick and roll assist and i get a five percent store discount now the reason why i have a low score discount i mean store discount is because i wanted more incentives while i was in the game so at me with my first initial contract this is kind of like maybe a video for people who like getting endorsements and stuff like that 20 for a uh, VC for alley oop assist is huge and 10 for pick and roll assist is huge because that's kind of like my game that's going to be my method for playmaking badges so my next playmaking upgrade will be lob city passer for playmaking okay if you want to do this you have to lower your store discount the store discount is really huge this year I feel like um I tried to do something with I think Gatorade see I got a 25 store in-store discount because i know that gatorade is something that i'll probably buy throughout the the life of this game so i got a 25 percent in-store discount but i only got 600 vc for an appearance and you only get one appearance during that whole entire contract so basically it's like you're signing the contract for a set amount of vc an incentive and a discount now actually i got 60 vc for every 20 point in tennis game that i earn and i can get 25 percent discount so really i'm kind of like averaging it out because when you think about it if i get 10 games with that 20 points in ten assists, that's basically my salary for the actual event so i'm already winning you know what i'm saying i can make 1200 off of that for just 10 games on the calendar and and get the appearance plus have the discount for the uh gatorade that i'm actually gonna need because i play park and rec you feel me um going to the beats i went with a lower beats uh incentive for the store discount as well because i'm not really gonna be buying beats like that i mean i did see the the little pro beats like the joints they're fire i can't lie to you guys but i decided to go with a high event appearance two incentives which are terrible incentives i get five vc for every assist and two vc for every two points but i heard that there's a glitch with this even at the end of the game you only get two vc for points not two vc for every single point you score but at the end of the game when it's logging everything all of your achievements i heard that you still only get two vc for your overall points for the game so that's something that needs to be patched as well 2k if you're watching this video um skill boost i definitely use jump shot boost and layup boost i have not purchased any gatorade stuff just yet but uh steals blocks rebounding and ball handling and passing i will not i repeat i will not be purchasing any of these boosts all year long if i happen to get them from the wheel that's fine but i'm not going to purchase any of this nonsense at all uh you guys see that i have an 85 speed and an 88 acceleration um as soon as i believe i get my maybe my next upgrade or even to 90 overall i'll have all the uh the fire stuff now let's go over to my player appearance one thing that's huge this year is the clothes um the clothes are really dope um they're they bring a couple things back but they also brought back um, I mean, they've also added in a couple things like uh, these this fire jacket right here. Let me equip it. Like they they've been, they've been adding a little bit of drip to the store. I can't lie to you guys, they have. But this right here is like my park get up. <laughs> um, this is my pro am and rec get up right here. It's kind of like the same thing basically. Um, this is my suit. Um, I mean, I've been trying to get fly coming off the bus. I actually got a screen, uh, not a screen, but a cutscene with the lady who told me my drip was trash so i just was like all right shorty um also they do have goggles in the game for uh when you are playing into my career which is um really big but honestly the goggles don't work for me in my head so i'm just not gonna wear those anymore i look i look weird i look weird um they also have the 
Park After Dark beats thing and all that. I'm not really worried about all that. That's cool. Um, as far as animations go, um, I was going to make a, a total video on this. You know what I'm saying? But you guys see, I just clicked animations and I'm still clicking animations. Um, this is a huge problem, 2K. Um, yes, I'm literally clicking animations and I can still move. So you see that? That's crazy. I can't get into my animations. Yeah, I, I can't get into my animations. But I know why I can't because I'm inside of the Gatorade facility. And that's something that I feel like needs to be patched or needs to be added to this. Um, let's see. Um, custom player panel. I heard when you get to Pro 2, you'll be able to uh, change that. And um, I seen a couple people with some dope custom panels. And I'll probably be checking those out. Um, let's see. As far as my... Let's go to player stats real fast. All right, so right now I'm averaging 20 points in a league. Um, let's see. And these are my hot zones. So basically, I'm hot from uh, scoring inside, and I'm pretty good from the three-point. But I need to shoot more threes around uh, the entire joint to get better. And as you guys can see, I got a hot zone in park still there. But that's really about it. Um, anything else before I get up out of here? Um... I think that's about it. I think I've updated you guys on the things that you need to do. Um, so basically, if you're into you know exploits and all that, you guys can go somewhere else and uh, watch somebody else's videos for that. Me, I'm playing a clean game. I'm actually about to do some defensive uh, joints to get that next upgrade to defensive. And um, then I'm going to be playing my next games on stream. Oh, also another huge thing. I have no name, 2K. Um, that's something that you guys just seen in stats as well. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't look. My name is 99, and I'm a playmaker shot creator. That's that's really about it. Um, oh, also, uh, do not play on Hall of Fame. Um, do not play on Hall of Fame until rep methods come out. Until people get a certain amount of badges that's going to help them kind of uh, trick the computer. I've played on Hall of Fame, and I can tell you guys that it's not that bad this year. But I feel like scoring 70 to 100 points on pro is definitely uh, equate to scoring only 20 on Hall of Fame and getting massive turnovers on Hall of Fame because the computer is just juiced. So if you're playing this game for badges and points and, you know, accolades and stuff like that, play on pro for the moment. Play five minute quarters until you get to the jump shot creator. After that, you can switch over to 12 minute quarters and get your player overall up and get the badges that you need to get. And then you guys can hit the park, hit the wreck or whatever. If you're a person that plays park straight out and don't worry about going to my career at all, that's tough because you, you're going to need jump shot creator. Um, There are a lot of different good jump shots out there. Um, Currently, the jump shot that I'm using, though, is Curry. And I'm going to be having quick, uh, quick draw on silver. And um, I may not put quick draw on um, gold, but I might try it for a game. And then my next upgrade, I might take it back and put it on something else shooting just to test it out. I heard that quick draw is a really, really great badge and that a lot of people need it, especially stretches. They need it like because I heard the closeout on them is insane right now. But uh, I want to thank you guys for coming through to this video. Uh, make sure you guys like. Uh, the light goal, I guess 3,000, 5,000, something like that. Just show your love inside the comment section as well. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, this is your boy, IKC, signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.